For more than 60 years, women have been paving a legacy of service in the armed forces. Serving alongside men since the American Revolution, women initially filled non-combat roles, such as nurses, cooks, secretaries, and mechanics. In the face of gender restrictions, many women formed organizations, such as the Women's Army Corps, to support the war effort, exhibiting integrity, courage, and selfless service, later becoming integrated and recognized as American soldiers. Today, women continue to break barriers, serving alongside their brothers in arms. The feeling that you have when you jump out of an airplane, there's a lot of excitement. And once you actually exit the airplane from all the noise, it's so quiet. And then once you've jumped, you lift up and see your beautiful parachute. And it's just float to the ground. It's an amazing adventure. What drove me to become an instructor at the Airborne Department was my love for jumping out of airplanes and the professionalism of the Airborne instructors. Being one of the first female instructors was very lonely. I felt that I was treated differently by them making it harder on me, making sure that I could accomplish everything better than any of the males could. I felt I was accepted once I proved myself by being able to do everything that was required of me, even better than some of the instructors. Uh, the things I was able to change when I became an instructor was the females coming through tell them that if they had problems with other instructors, the male instructors, to come to me and I would take care of it. The Army changed me as a person by giving me more confidence in myself, helping me understand that I could accomplish anything I set my mind to. I would tell a female civilian that wanted to join the Army that there's many aspects to the military that some they will enjoy and some they may not, but it's an amazing adventure and you can accomplish so much. <laughs>